I'm a really creative person and I really like Guardians of the Galaxy and today I wanted to draw with you Raccoon from this movie but from our universe and in his natural habitat so let's start by drawing lines that will help us in drawing for example now we see where to put the head of the raccoon here from the left side we put nose and now we can see where to put eyes always before drawing try to imagine this painting with really simple forms like triangle circle simple lines it will help you a lot in the process so now let's start drawing using our little explanation going really slowly step by step as you can see video is in a time lapse so really fast uh, but you don't need to be in a hurry you can pause it take your time and the most important thing here is to enjoy the process When our sketch is ready, let's move to our next step. During painting, I will use Color by Felix blending brushes. I also use the most common acrylic paints, basic colors, red, yellow, blue, black and white. By mixing these colors, you can achieve any color you want. In order to make the background, I prepared two shades of green, darker on the right and lighter on the left. I mixed white, black and yellow for that. If you have the same brushes as mine, I recommend to use them in the same way. First water, then dry them a little bit. Take the paint, apply it and blend with a dry big brush. Like this you will achieve the perfect effect. Now let's show where will be our tree. I mixed red, blue and yellow to half brown and with white and black I controlled the shades. Using the same color let's show where will be dark uh, places uh, on our raccoon. For example, ears, under eyes, in the middle will be more dark. And let's say eyebrows and cheeks will be more light. Also, you can add some blue in the shadow places and yellow or orange in light places. Like this, your painting will be more, let's say, natural. Now is my favorite part, drawing eyes. And actually, if you need more of explanation how to draw eyes of animals, write about it in comments and I will make one separate video and will post it in my YouTube channel.
Now let's see in which direction the raccoon's hair grows. Basically it's growing like this, up, down, again up, down. So using this big brush I start to paint the hair in the direction what we discussed. Now let's show where will be his hands and let's continue with painting a tree. Also with a big brush I start to show the texture of the tree. Here I don't have any rules to follow, I was painting it really chaotically. If you want you can draw it just with a brush but uh, also you can use palette knife. I think it's a really nice tool to show the texture of the tree. Also with a small brush you can add some little details in this tree. paint his hand actually rules are like uh, closer to the tree is more dark closer to the raccoon is more light so basically it's like this and of course you can find easier ways to draw the hand for example not without showing fingers or in general if it's really too much hard you don't need to draw the hand is not really the most important thing here now let's add some branches on the background. I decided to add some light places on the background as well. And with a little brush let's add some final details. If you are also a fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, you can check in my Instagram video how I did this Groot from Keramics. I wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I will be happy to see your feedback. How did you like it? Was it great or next time you need more explanation? What was too much hard? And if you are interested in this kind of videos, follow me on Instagram, subscribe in YouTube. I will be really happy to see you there. Thank you for watching and huge thanks to Color by Felix community what makes these kind of projects to become truth, who believe in these little artists as me support us.